Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and here we're dividing rational numbers. So it's real similar to the last one, except we have to do one extra step. So our common core strand is the same as the last one, and our question is how do we divide rational numbers? Okay, so um, uh, the placement of negative signs in quotients. So quotients can have a negative sign in different places. So here's some rules here, you guys. So Basically, you guys, if one is positive and one is negative, or one is negative, and um, you can't see that, sorry. If uh, one is positive and one is negative, or one is negative and one is positive, then the sign is going to be negative right here. So, so if this is negative and this is positive, then it's negative. Or if this is positive and this is negative, then it's negative. Now, if they're both positives, then it's positive. And if they're both negatives, then it's negative. It's just like multiplying. So, so here, let's find the value of each, okay? So, so um, uh, uh, a quotient, you guys, a fraction, a ratio, other ways to say fraction is a ratio, or a quotient, is just a division sign, you guys. So it's top divided by bottom, top divided by bottom. This one says the opposite of top divided by bottom. So let's write that down right there, okay? So here, we have a positive divided by a negative. This one's negative, so this one's going to be negative 3. Here we have a negative divided by a positive, so negative 3. Okay, so I get negative 3 there, negative 3 there. And here, let's do this first. 12 divided by 4 is 3, but this is the opposite of 3. So the opposite of 3 is negative 3. So all of those are equivalent statements right there, you guys. So it doesn't matter if the negative is in the denominator or the numerator out or out in front of the fraction. Fraction. They're equivalent fractions right there. So that means all of these fractions are equivalent, whether the negative is out in front of the fraction or it's in the numerator or it's in the denominator right there. They're all going to be equivalent fractions, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and write two equivalent fractions for each um, uh, equivalent uh, quotient. So our quotient is the same as fraction or ratio for each expression. Okay, so 14 over negative 7 is going to be the same as negative 7 over 14, which is going to be the same as negative the fraction. For, did I say 7 over 14? Sorry. Negative, uh, put the negative on top, so negative 14 over 7, positive 7, or negative the fraction 14 over 7, okay? So there's one, there's one, uh, another one right there. Okay, now remember, a negative over a negative is a positive, so I'm going to make it 32 eighths right here, okay? So 32 over 8, notice they're both positive. And then another way to do that is to uh, make it a negative fraction, but make the fraction also negative. And you're thinking, what? Something like that, you guys, okay? So, so put a negative out in front of the fraction, and you can either float the negative up here or float the negative down there, and a negative and a negative makes it a positive. Okay, so those are equivalent fractions right there. All right, so the rules for dividing rational numbers are the same for dividing integers, okay? So uh, if you're dividing a positive divided by a positive, positive. Well, let's just say this. If the signs are the same, it's positive. If the signs are opposites, then it's negative. Okay, so over five months, Carlos wrote five checks for a total of $323.75 to pay for his cable uh, TV service. So his cable bill is the same amount each month. So if he writes five checks and it's the same for each check, what will the change in the bank account be each month after he pays the cable bill? Okay, so we're basically doing um, uh, 323 divided by 75 divided by 5. Okay, did I, sorry, tongue twister, 323.75 divided by 5, except this is negative because we're withdrawing money all the time. So we're looking for that quotient right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and divide 5 into, um, uh, and, and then notice you guys, our answer is going to be negative because it's coming out each time. So the dividend is going to be negative uh, because Carlos writes checks. So the dividend, so remember, this is the dividend, this is the divisor, and our answer is called the quotient right here, okay? Dividend, divisor, and then the answer is going to be the quotient right here. So the dividend is negative because Carlos is writing checks and it's taking money out of his account, okay? And then this is positive because he's writing five checks. That's a positive number. He doesn't write negative checks. He writes checks. How many checks? So the quotient's going to be negative because those signs are different right there. Okay, let's do some some long dividing. We can do this. Now notice, you guys, I uh, since we have a decimal, then when we make our division uh, box right here, carry the decimal straight up. 
Okay, so 5 goes into 3, it doesn't, so go over the next digit. 5 goes into 32 six times. So we'll put a 6 right here, and then we'll put a 30 down here, because 30 times, uh, or 6 times 5 is 30. Okay, and then uh, now we're going to slide. Remember, we're just I'm just showing you, re-showing you how to do this. Slide this 3 down. Okay, we're going to subtract. 32 minus 30 is 2, and then we'll slide the 3 down. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to say, okay, 5 goes into 23 four times, which is 20. So we'll put a 20 right there. And then we'll subtract. Okay, so now we're going to subtract. 23 minus 20 is 3, and then we'll slide that 7 down. Okay, so we get 37 when we do that. And then we'll do it again. So uh, 5 goes into 37 seven times, and seven times five is 35, so we'll put a seven right here, so, and then write a 35, and then subtract, and slide the next five down, and then five times five gets me that. Now, so that means uh, 6475 is how much it comes out, so it's negative 6475, so Carlos withdraws 6475 each month to pay for his cable bills, okay, so always answer the problem in the context, uh, or that give the answer in the context of the problem. Well, I'm having a hard time talking this morning. It's a Saturday morning, so and I'm up early. Anyway, so find the quotients. Okay, so here um, uh, we're going to divide um, uh, negative 4 into 2.8. Okay, so I'm going to just divide 4 into 2.8 and recognize this one's going to be negative. Here it's a negative divided by negative, so this one's going to be positive, and I'm going to divide 0.4 into 6.64. Here we got a negative out in front, so I'm going to divide 0.5 into 5.5 and recognize that it's a negative right there. Okay, so here we go. So uh, I did that one real quick, you guys. So uh, 4 goes into, now notice I carried the decimals straight up. 4 goes into 2 zero times, but it goes into 28 seven times, and we get 28, we get a remainder of 0. Okay, remember, it's negative, so this is going to be negative 0 0.7, okay? All right, and then this one here, you guys, these two, I'm going to do these both at the same time, you guys. I'm going to do bottom goes into top. I'm going to just disregard the negatives for right now. Bottom goes into top, and then on these guys, because we have a decimal on the outside, do you remember what we do with that decimal? Okay, same with this decimal right here. We move it over so it's right there. So i got to move it over one spot, which means move this guy over one spot. So I'm going to put a decimal, put the decimal right there and float it right on top. Same on this one. I'm going to move this 5 over right there, which means move this, uh, I'm sorry, this decimal over in front of the 5, and then... I'm sorry, it's right here, sorry, at the end of the 5, and then move this decimal over, and so I'm going to just carry it right on top. So there it is right there. Okay, now let's go back to this one here. 4 goes into 6 one time, okay, and then when I subtract, I get 6 minus 4 is 2, so 6 minus 4 is 2, and slide the next number down. 4 goes into 26, and notice I, I put the decimal right here. Okay, so now I'm going to say 4 goes into 26 six times. I'll put a 6 right there, and 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, and then, uh, and then when I subtract and slide the next number down, 4 goes into 24 six times again. Okay, and then we get a remainder of 0. All right, so um, remember this is going to be negative. You got, I know it's going to be positive because we have a negative divided by negative, so that's the answer, 16.6 right there. Okay, all right, so now let's go ahead and do this guy right here. Okay, notice the decimals right there. Now, 5 times 11 is 55, so we can just write 11 right there and 55 right there, and we get, um, and we get uh, uh, remember, it's negative. It's negative 11. All right, so here, this one says, um, I'm just going to save time. I'm going to pick up my calculator. I don't know if your teacher wants to do that, but um, I'm going to to save time, because otherwise this video would add on another four or five minutes. So diver descends 42.56 feet in 11.2 minutes. What's the diver's average change in elevation? per minute. So I'm going to do this divided by this. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me get my calculator here. So what did I do last on there? Okay, so here we go. So 42.56. 42.56 divided by 11.2. Okay, and then I get that. So 3.8, so that's what our answer is right there. So the it's uh, he's he's descending 3.8 feet per minute. 
going down. That's what the negative is, okay? So try to answer it always if it's a word problem, whatever the word problem is asking for. Okay, complex fractions is a, is a fraction that has a fraction in the numerator or denominator or both. So it's fractions inside of fractions like this, okay? So now when we have this, you guys, remember a ratio or a fraction uh, is the top divided by the bottom. So let's do this, this fraction divided by this fraction right there, okay? So here we go. And then um, do you guys remember what we do when we're dividing fractions, you guys? We keep this one the same. We flip this one and we change that to a multiplication, okay? So I like to say um, uh, keep flip change on that. So if we do that, so there's that right there, and and, and keep flip change uh, has uh, the initials KFC, okay? And I'm sure that can remind you of something right there. So that's what I do, KFC, keep flip change when we're dividing fractions. Okay, so here we go. So top divided by bottom. Keep flip change, okay? And then can we cross cancel anything, okay? Yes, this five goes into five once, into 10 twice right there. So so when we do that, um, now uh, everything's canceled. Now be careful, we have a positive fraction times a negative fraction. So seven times one is seven, two times one is two, so I get negative seven halves, okay? Now if you wanna change that to um, uh, negative three and a half, that's okay. Uh, I just left it like that for now, okay? So anyway, so Maya wants to divide a three quarter pound uh, box of trail mix into small bags. Each of the bag will hold one twelfth of a pound of trail mix. How many bags of trail mix can Maya fill? Okay, these are all positive numbers and we're gonna do three fourths divided by one twelfth. So keep flip change, okay, KFC. And then four goes into four once, into 12 three times, and we're left with three times three on top. One times one on the bottom is nine. So answer the question. So Maya can fill nine bags of trail mix on that. All right, let's try a few more and then we'll wrap it up, okay? All right, so uh, here it's going to be top divided by bottom, okay? Top divided by bottom. Keep And then keep flip change, okay? And then we have a negative times a negative equals a positive right here, okay? Let me grab this. So a negative times this negative, our answer is going to be positive. Five doesn't go into anything on the bottom. Seven doesn't go into anything on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and and multiply on top. Remember, it's going to be positive. 5 times 7 is 35. 8 times 6 is 48. So, so I get um, uh, 35 over 48 is the answer on that, okay? All right, next one. So top divided by bottom, okay? Keep flip change. All right, now, uh, I do see I can do some cross-canceling. 3 goes into 3 once, into 12 four times. So let's go ahead and change those. And then we're left with, here we have a negative times a positive. So it's going to be negative. 5 times 1 is 5. 4 times 2 is 8. So negative 5 eighths. Okay? All right. This next one, we're going to do top divided by bottom. Okay? And then keep flip change. And then doesn't look like anything cancels right here. We got a negative times a positive, so the answer is negative. Nothing cancels, so 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 1 is, is 5, so we get negative 8 fifths. Now, if you want to change that to an improper fraction, that's okay, too. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and, and this is why 6 is afraid of 7. Take care.